The NFL Draft is done and over, and I am going to be breaking down each and every team and grading out their draft. So check back every day because one team I will do every single day, and I'll have it up here on YouTube for you to watch. We'll go over every prospect that they drafted as well as some key undrafted free agents that they may bring in. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I'll be sure to address them for you. Also, just be aware of my draft grades. No one fails the draft, especially right after it. Even no one in this draft is going to get a D or an F from me because they, everyone had a talent. Everyone did something. So if you think the grades are a little bit high, that's just me not going to too much extremes. And maybe in three or four years, when we look back on this draft, then we can see who really succeeded and who really failed. So sit back, relax, enjoy me as I break down every single team this year. Draft expert Shane Hallam shows off his knowledge. Writing mock drafts, prospects from the best college. Breaking down tape, he might develop a man crush. Tearing up guys, taking questions in a rush. Comparisons, learning lessons. Shane saves the day, oy vey. Hulk or banner, doesn't matter. Listen, cause here's who can play. Hey everyone, today we're going to be grading the New England Patriots draft. The New England Patriots came in with three second round picks and a first round pick as well. So, if they came out of here with a bad draft, it'd be very difficult. As long as they made good picks, they'd have to come out with a very good draft, and they did that. In the first round, they took Devin McCourty, cornerback out of Rutgers. And though this wasn't a likely position for them to take, a lot of people, especially Patriots fans, didn't think they would address cornerback right off. I do like the pick. I think he's a good fit for New England. He can come in, possibly start day one, compete for that job, return kicks. He can do a lot of different things for this team. And he's, he's a hardworking, good kid. It's going to fit that Patriots system well. They've never had a superior secondary, at least since they've been winning these Super Bowls. So I, I think McCourty's going to add to that. In the second round, like I said, they had three picks. The first pick they had, they took Rob Gronkowski, tight end out of Arizona. Rob Gronkowski is an all-around, probably the best complete tight end in this draft. He was injured this past season, back injury, has spinal stenosis, so there's the injury worry with him. He probably, but he probably would have been a first-round pick without that because he can block. He's a very, very good run blocker, decent pass blocker, very good at catching the ball. Pretty good after the catch. He's all right after the catch, but he'll really get those tough catches in the middle of the field and in the red zone, and that's what you need if you're the Patriots. Lost Ben Watson, don't have a tight end, bam. Rob Gronkowski, great fit. Then their second second-round pick was Jermaine Cunningham, who's going to convert to linebacker. He's defensive end at Florida, going to convert to outside linebacker in the 3-4. thought it was a little bit high for him, but once again, I like the fit. This is the type of player that the Patriots want to bring in. They needed help in the pass rush. Soon after the draft, released to Darius Thomas. They haven't upgraded that outside linebacker position, that pass rush position. I think they see Jermaine Cunningham as that guy. I, I like the pick. I think it just fits them really well. I think he's a guy that can come off the edge and do some damage. And their last second round pick was Brandon Spikes, linebacker out of Florida. So they got two guys that are going to play linebacker coming out of Florida from the second round. Probably both going to start. Brandon Spikes, someone I thought would fall to the fourth or fifth round after running a very, very, very bad 40 time. And obviously, the 40-yard dash linebacker, it's not, you're not going to see them running 40 yards down the field too much, but the question with him was just what is that speed? Because it doesn't come across on tape. He's not very good sideline to sideline. Needs to be in a 3-4, needs to be a thumper, and that's what he's going to be for the Patriots next to Gerard Mayo. They're not going to ask him to do much more than just eat up that space in the middle and tackle any guys in the middle. They're not going to ask him to cover too, too much. not going to ask him to go to the sideline, chase these speed rushers. So I think if there's one place he can work, it's New England. But I'm still scared about that pick. Still think it was a little bit of a reach. In the third, then they got Taylor Price, wide receiver out of Ohio. A lot of teams were high on this guy. Senior role, a little bit inconsistent, dropped a lot of balls, but he has great height, great speed, great athleticism. His workouts, I heard, were absolutely incredible. He's going to replace Randy Moss probably after this year. Randy Moss last year in New England, 2011. Look out for Taylor Price. Going to probably step into that Randy Moss role within that offense, and we'll see if he can pull it off. So I like the pick in the third. I think it's fine value, and I think he can do well with the Patriots. Also in the third, they took Aaron Hernandez, 
tight end out of Florida. So third Florida player right here. And Eric Hernandez, a guy that's not going to block for you. Yeah, not going to block at all. I don't think I've seen him block ever. But great after the catch. He fell a little bit in this draft. It was a great value pick on the Saturday edition of the draft. So I think Aaron Hernandez, Rob Gronkowski, going to complement each other well. You're going to use them both in different ways. So I think depending on who they're playing, I think depending on situation, they're going to use both these guys. Maybe Aaron Hernandez in the slot a little bit, have him run out. But once he gets that ball in his hands, he is dangerous. He's big and dangerous. And in the fifth, they took Zoltan Mesko, punter out of Michigan, my highest rate of punter. Probably going to come in and start for him. Big leg, pretty accurate, successful college career. you got to like this pick with Zoltan Mesko. Punters are important. Punters are important, even if we don't talk about it. If you can get to win the field position game, especially with Tom Brady at the helm, you're, you're going to win a lot of games. In the sixth, they took Ted Larson center out of NC State. I'm not a huge Ted Larson fan. Watching him in the All-Star games, his snaps were off. He was really kind of weak. I saw him get pushed back a lot on tape. I wasn't very high on him coming into this draft. I guess he's fine as a reserve offensive lineman. Maybe he could kick out the guard. I don't know. I'm just not I'm not a great fan of his, so I think that was kind of a wasted pick. In the seventh, they took Thomas Welch, offensive tackle to Vanderbilt. Really like this guy. And I think he's a guy that's gonna make this team and could make an impact. A good reserve offensive tackle, pretty good strength, pretty good athleticism, very intelligent kid. Can lead that Vanderbilt offensive line. I really like Thomas Welch. I think he's a great, great New England fit. He seems like the type of player that they like to bring in and groom. So I really like that fit. Uh, Brandon Diedrich in the seventh, who's going to be probably a five technique defensive end in their system out of Alabama. And he didn't get much accreditation at Alabama in terms of his play on the field, but this is a very solid player. He's about 290, and he's probably going to play that five technique, a good reserve, maybe rotating player. I think he definitely can make this team and make a little bit of noise for the Patriots. It might be one of these steals that, that end up starting for them in three or four years. I wouldn't be surprised. Also in the seventh, they took Cade Weston, nose tackle out of Georgia. And Cade Weston, someone I thought was a little bit underrated because I think this is a guy that can eat up space. He also showed a little bit more of athleticism. He had another guy with some injury issues, but New England, they can find him back, you know, have him be able to reserve nose tackle. I like that pick. I do like that pick. And then the last pick, they put Zach Robinson, quarterback out of Oklahoma State. I'm a fan. I don't think Zach Robinson's ever going to be a starter in the NFL, but I do think Zach Robinson is a player that came through in the offseason. This is the guy that had to play a year without Des Bryant, still put up pretty good numbers, pretty accurate, came into the senior bowl, didn't think he deserved to be there. I didn't think so, but he showed up, and he was second or first or second best quarterback in the game. So you got to like Zach Robinson pick. I think he can win that backup job over Hoyer, and worst case, be the third in New England. So overall... I'm going to give New England an A. You have this many picks, I don't think you can go wrong. And they didn't. They got two great tight ends that complement each other well. They got solid cornerback. They got their pass rusher of the future. They got some great reserve linemen in Kay Weston, Thomas Welch. Uh, you know, they came in there, got their starting punter, got Brandon Spikes, probably going to start for them. We got a lot of starters and young starters out of this draft, especially for that defense and as playmakers on that offense. I like it. I like it for the Patriots. I think they did a really good job, and we'll see. And they also came out with an extra second round pick by trading a pick to Carolina for a future second, and they're going to have another first next year after trading away Richard Seymour. So Patriots are set up for another great draft year in 2011. Uh, in terms of undrafted free agents, a couple guys I like. Pat Paschal, running back out of North Dakota State. They have a lot of running backs there in New England. None are great. I think Pat Paschal can make a practice squad and get on that team. Uh, Ross Ventrone, safety out of Villanova. And this guy I actually went to high school with. His brother played for the Patriots for a couple of years. Great special teams player now playing with Cleveland Browns. I think Ross will have his shot at being a good special teams ace for the Patriots as well. And then uh, the last one's Terrence Johnson, cornerback out of Cal, Pennsylvania. Another guy I got to see up close and personal, small school guy, a little bit shorter than you want. That's why he didn't get drafted, but he has good athletic ability. He really stood up in, the, in the, his program and was one of the best players in the country in that division. So I really like Terrence Johnson. I think he can make the team as maybe a fourth or fifth cornerback. So Patriots, A for them. I really enjoyed what they did. With that many picks, like I said, tough to go wrong, and they're generally a good drafting team. So I like that. Let me know what you think.